This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoilenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in the garage, sitting in a BMW i3 from 2016. This car is seven years old. The same one I did the 500 kilometer challenge with. And I'm gonna do yellow test today. So yeah, or tonight rather. So the plan is to drive to yellow. You guys know the drill. But then after, no, wait, shit. How do we? There's no touch. Man, this is so silly. Okay, I had to use interactive map. So we're gonna go to Yale and then afterwards, look at that laser can. Okay, afterwards, I won't go back the same way. I will go over here somewhere in no man's land and then end up at um, uh, Elvin Mac. Yeah, I'm gonna return this car and then borrow the, the e-golf again. But yeah, so um, we're gonna measure now. So, you know, the e-golf did this in... Um, uh, well, okay, well, the reference test, uh, which is just a, a modern EV, it was the x G9, just as a coincidence. It did the trip in 2 hours and 55 minutes. That's the reference test, without any charging. And then we want to see how slow are these old cars. So the E-Golf, well, I, I only was the fastest, three and a half hours or something. And then E-Golf was three hours and 55 minutes, so one hour slower than the reference time. So we're going to see the, the, the i3 here. Can the i3 beat E-Golf? You know, E-Golf has no thermal management, but Ego seems to be charging faster. Okay, we'll see. We might not have the best weather today. You might have to compensate a little bit for that, but uh, yeah, gonna make the final preparations. And I think we will start at 23.15. We are now at Hönefoss and man, it was quite slippery today on the road and people are driving dog slow. So you know, as a reference, uh, we will apply some corrections here. And you see, um, the G9 made it here in 55 minutes. That's the reference time. Uh, we made it here after, what was the time now? Can we see the time, yeah. We, ma we made it here after one hour and uh, one minute so we are actually six minutes slower than the reference time so yeah we should deduct six minutes then or at least five minutes I'm not sure I'll figure out by the end but yeah so uh, that's the only fair way to do it because uh, you know, we're trying to measure the car and if we get stuck behind slow pokes or if there's an unfall or something or weather even then that's not the car's fault if I drove this route or oh, this test two days ago, uh, that was before the snowfall. It would be nice and dry and I could hammer it. We are now charging at VME. Oh man, I came with around, yeah, I came with 3%. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, but you see that uh, here, I don't know, it's hard to see, but the battery was at the 19 degrees Celsius. There is no cold gate. Seems like 19 degrees is enough to get full speed. You see here, uh, the car can take 125 amp max, uh, close enough. So yeah. Uh, that's good because then it means that we are not losing anything for cooling now. Uh, but um, I don't want to activate the auxiliary climate here. Yeah. Funny that they call it auxiliary climate. <laughs> uh, I don't want to activate it yet because if I activate it now, I will get slightly lower charging speed. So I have to wait until it throttles past 50%, then I can activate it. So yeah, now we sit and chill here for a bit uh, in the cold. But oh, fortunately over here, it's not that cold. So this is the first time I stop here at Veme. Uh, the main road goes right here. So there's no detour to stop here. But um, if you wonder, um, E-Golf managed to go further down the road around 10 more kilometers before it had to stop the first time at Sopna. So why the heck did the E-Golf beat uh, I3? Well, E-Golf cheated because I ran 
EcoFlow with the heater <laughs> at some part. So, but okay, that wasn't. But the EcoF also had uh, more battery capacity. Uh, EcoF started initially with 21 kilowatt hour net capacity. It's 24 kilowatt hour gross capacity. Whereas the i3, that's only 22 kilowatt hour gross capacity. And then it started with 18.8, .8, but then I have now 16.1. Yeah, so 6.1 here versus Eagle 17.7. .7. Of course, that helps. But yeah, so now I just sit here. The, the shell station is closed. So there's uh, nothing to do here. <laughs> you see from yesterday, we averaged 179 watt hour per kilometer. Yeah, that's not too bad considering like it, it was roughly minus four, minus five degrees Celsius and snowy conditions. So yeah, I think I'll use roughly 180 watt hour per kilometer for the, for the upcoming uh, estimations. All right, we are gonna disconnect soon, but you see here, initially I was charging at 45 to 47 kilowatt, but then roughly at 50% it throttle. And now I'm getting only 23 kilowatt. This is always like it has been with the i3, the 22 kilowatt hour. So the Eagles charge at only around 40, 42 kilowatt, but it can maintain that speed until 72%. So by the end of the day, we have to see which car charges the fastest. I need to also do a test, a charging test with this car. No, wait, not this one. Eagles, I mean, Eagles. But okay, let's leave now. What the heck, man? It's one at night and we have this traffic here. You know, I just realized this is Christmas traffic. This is an exceptional traffic during Christmas. So, and they're driving dogs slow. So I just have to hammer them. Uh, I was stuck behind some slow pokes earlier. Uh, so we just have to deduct a couple. Oh, these are Danes, man. Yeah, fucking Danes. Um, I have to deduct, we'll see how many minutes, but uh, these Danes, they might be on Central European tires, so they, they drive dog slow. Yeah. <laughs> so, or whatever, we could just deduct uh, for irregularities like this. We are now at floor charging up. We came here with 15%. Oh, that was a bit, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm learning. So now I know roughly how much to go for. So last time I charged with 70%, this time I might charge you only 65% and that should still be safe. So yeah, every time now we get nice consistent speed. You see, this is where we're charging faster than e-golf. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so um, standard procedure is to let the car charge for a bit and then, and then we will activate the auxiliary heater. So over here, we actually stop at the same place we stopped with, um, with the classic Ionic. This is just the Bjorne Park and yeah, the Bear Park. See? <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, nothing to do here. Yeah, I'll just uh, chill for a bit. So let me see. This is the second journey stop. I only need one more stop, I think. Yeah, I have to say the i3 is doing a pretty good job here. Huh? Huh? And this car has no touchscreen. It has this iDrive system, man. It, the shit, the iDrive. So, yeah, um, I'll show you that. It's super clumsy. Okay. If you want to go to Ghoul, my next stop is Ghoul, so uh, how do you do it? Well, you can go, uh, you can, let me see how it is, you can scroll, da, 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 da. guidance, okay. Um, oh, sorry, it's a bit dark, I should adjust it. Uh, right. Okay, now I think you can see that, start. Uh, enter new destination, okay. Uh, destination input. And you get, the, huh, what, what? Uh, it, this is so ancient. That you have to choose city. Wait, can I? Can we do point of interest instead? Okay, let me, let me see. Uh, online. So, oh yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Uh, I want to go to Shell. What, what kind of user interface is this? Yeah, it's supposed to be safer because you don't have a touch screen. You can use this while driving. Well, is it safe? I tried to do this while driving. Felt like I was gonna crash in the ditch. Shell. Uh. Man, holy... 
shell where space is this space ghoul oh come on okay shell oh it found something it found something shell whoa it just took forever to write it yeah go 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 huh what can we can we how do you Accept this thing. How? Why do we have so many clicks here? Start guidance. Yes, come on. <laughs> Holy macaroni, man. Oh, there, forty-nine kilometers away. No, 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 no. It it, it, it tells me that I don't have enough range. Yeah, but we are charging now, honey. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Just wait a little bit, and then we are good. Holy macaroni, you know, on the previous leg. I got stuck behind some Danes. Uh, I'm, I'm still stuck behind some Danes here. So I hammered them and they just disappeared in my rear mirror. Uh, and then I stopped to charge for 13 minutes. Let's say 15 minutes total and with them uh, handshake and, and detour and stuff. And now I'm back behind them. Wow. Uh, well, next stop will be Ghoul, that hopefully they're not going to go to Yalo. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be hammering them again. I have to get past these guys. Man, they drive so slow. They drive slower than a freaking i3 uh, that is seven years old. Okay, let me see. Okay, I, I think I can. I, I know roughly how it goes around here. Even though I, I don't see the lines, I know that here I can hammer. So let's test some, some hammer power on the i3. Yeah, okay, I know this right, okay. See, um, it, the, the TC lamp goes crazy now. Um, it seems like it doesn't want to wiggle with the tail. It just, TC has been set to uh, limit the power. So, yeah, I mean, it's rear wheel drive. How the, how the heck does rear wheel drive work in winter? Uh, it works fine. Except for that, I feel like uh, the i3 is a bit unstable. Uh, Especially at higher speed, but also in these. Okay, there is this. Okay, see. Um, yeah, that, this is this is the last date. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, it was on this stretch I could overtake. Uh, here, here, here. Wait. Uh, I mean, I've driven this route a couple of hundred times. I should know it, right? I know that after this then we can hammer we just need to build up the momentum up the hill okay let's go yeah i know this one this one is safe go 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 see i'm flooring it but the car barely increases speed because it's not getting enough traction or grip man would be nice to have winter tires on right now oh shit oh shit, oh, shit oh, going sideways <laughs> Now at Ghoul, we arrive here with 10%. Um, so yeah, I figured I need to charge you roughly 70, maybe 75%. But if I charge it 70%, I should arrive at 5%, which is cutting it kind of close. But okay, so yeah, next stop, I mean, the final destination now is going to be Yalu, 51 kilometers away. So all good. But yeah, okay, I have to stop here. I wanted to stop here because this is the, the old school superchargers, man. This, the six first superchargers in Europe, they are here. Yeah, they upgraded them to uh, slightly better now, but it's still V2. So I can use them, of course, but except for that uh, the charge port is on the right side with the wrong side, should have been left side with the right side. But uh, yeah, I don't know why the heck it's so dark over here. You see, those lights are off. Those lights are also off. It used to be, it used to be nicer here. And also Yoffs is now moved to another place in the city so 
I feel like this place has become, or this section here has become like a ghost town. It used to be way more activity here. Uh, so yeah, anyway, now I need to, okay guys, I need to stock up on supplies here because the, the Shell station over here is the last outpost before we enter no man's land, literally. So from here, for the rest of the night now, uh, we're going to enter a place where everything is closed <laughs> at night. <laughs> Welcome to Norway. But wow, look at this. I like this landscape, man. I, I love these um, trees with the uh, snow on them. Yeah, but you know what? We also have this at Yesheim. Right outside my house, we have a quite similar landscape also. All right, I bought some bread and some bun. And uh, yeah, if you look at the clock now, we have... We're 2.31, so I counted total of 10 minutes of deduction because of traffic and, and just because I have to drive slow. Uh, but okay, so um, uh, that means that uh, we count as if the starting time was 11.25, which means that we have been driving and charging now uh, for a little bit over three hours. Yeah, okay. And now we're at 66.6%. We need to charge maybe five more minutes to roughly 70 something percent, 72, 75 percent, and then we go for it. And uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna show you something here. So if I turn off, the... no, 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 shit, I turn. Okay, Missy. Wait, how do I? I wanna go back. Oh, there, there, there. Listen to this. I'm listening to some Christmas music, but. I know that there's a sound here, it's very good. It has nice bass. Also quite detailed. I can't see if we have Harman Kardon. The car seems to be somewhat stripped. I don't have, have, have uh, adaptive cruise control even. But the sound is impressive, man. Really good. We are now at Kiwi Hagerfoss. This is a new charger. Um, well, okay, well. Um, I had to bail out. I wasn't sure whether I could make it or not because we are still 11 kilometers away and we have 14 kilometers and gone. But we ha I know we have to go uphill here. So we have to charge it for a couple of minutes just to, <laughs> so we you wanna, don't want to run out of juice. This is the last bailout point, but uh, let me show you. You know, Fortum used to have, or Fortum charge and drive, or now we recharge. They used to have um, 50 kilowatt charger. Now we have high power charger here. I've seen this before. Wait, huh? Ragnar charge. What the heck is this? But they have card payment. First of all, like, oh no, I don't know how to use this uh, network, uh, but uh, you can just say start stop. And then, for example, this side, and then you choose Pater. It's kind of cryptic. It, it should say uh, with a credit card or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or RFID, of course. Holy shit, it's, co it's cold outside here. Okay, okay. Anyway, quick top up. Uh, let's get inside the car. But since I want to go for maximum speed, I cannot preheat yet. So I have to just freeze a bit in here. Okay, that was roughly a five minute charging stop. Oh, oh, the car struggles to do. Oh, I see the traction control lamp is blinking now. It's minus six degrees Celsius. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. I'm struggling to even go at the speed I want. It's not gaining much speed. Okay, there you go. Wow. Um, okay, but uh, I'm not sure if we can beat the Eagle here. Shit, man. Go on, go on, hurry, hurry. We're almost there. Nine kilometers left. Oh, shit, it's slippery. If I try to give it the beans, then it jiggles a bit. Fortunately, we have fairly good driving condition. It's not snowy. Oh, then I would struggle even more. We are here at Soko K Yellow. 
Yeah, this is the checkpoint, the end point for this, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, challenge, measurement, test, whatever. So how long did it take? Well, the time is 3.25 and we have to add 35 minutes and that becomes four hours. Oh, four hours. Egov needed three hours and 55 minutes. So Egov was five minutes faster. Wow. Whoa, whoa, but I ended up with whooping 17%. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, that was the consumption. I mean, it's clumsy. You have to. There, there, there. Consumption was 189 watt hour per kilometer. All right. All good. Now let's plug in. Um, should I take high power charger or just take a 50 kilowatt charger? Let's go for the 50 kilowatt. 